Right, hello boys, girls, and all those my name is Lisa Michaela, and welcome to the next episode of Buses. Uh, today it is at Wigan, and uh, well, I'm missing buses just doing this intro clip, but that's kind of what Wigan's like. We were last here in October 2021, and uh, I was deciding I needed to film something today, and I'm currently um, staying with the lovely Chi. Hello. So we thought we'd pop down to the bus station and do some filming here instead. So let's get back straight into it. First clip was 2697 for Riva Northwest heading over on the 320, followed by uh, KX10 DVL um, for Vision Bus on the 639. Correct. Well done, I'm impressed. And straight into it, 36798 is pulling away there, one of the Mario 200s on the 2, followed by 27235, which has a slightly weird application of the 2020 livery there with the yellow, uh, the white headlights, sorry. Uh, that's on the 7 over to Bolton, one of uh, two routes? No, just one route to Bolton from here. No, I'm confusing it. There is the, two, isn't um, it? That's it, yeah. Duh. It's literally right there, we're rounding on. I'm, I'm <laughs> smart. Um, and then also, looks like it's just pulled away slash coming in, I can't tell. It's got people on it, but that doesn't mean anything. <laughs> I think it's gone out on a 640. There's another Enviro 200 for Diamond Northwest. Yeah, it's just gone down there. Um, so we'll see what moves next. Never mind, I've been proved wrong. It is in fact coming in on the 640. It'll be it could, one of. It, you say it's coming in on the 640 though. It, they sometimes change the. Um, yeah, it will be in on they? the. So it might be coming in on the 641. Mm. Going out on the 640. I've checked find the time. Out. What time is it? <laughs> You've got the phone. 17 minutes past. What would that be? I don't know. What I do know is it is 30977. One of the. Actually, no, that won't be the next year last one. One of the 16 plate ones they have. A very much classic officially, that one. Um, as with the previous video, all details of exactly what we're seeing will be in the spreadsheet linked below. Pulling away also is one of the remaining Trident Enviro 400s. There are actually quite a few of these left at Wigan. Um, in fact, some were transferred over from the central depots um, around 2021, not long before we came here last time, um, ousting out a few older examples. What does Trident mean? It's a chassis name. I have to keep teaching her buses because she's not as I into them as trains. This I know, I know. Here, so it's an Enviro 200, Enviro 200, Enviro 400 with the Trident chassis. It's still got the Wigan board on, but it's on the 10 to Lee, uh, one of a few routes over there. It could be going over to the stand actually. What I can tell you is it is 193 something or other. I can't read from here. What's it say? Where's the number? Jeez, 19359. Can you see that? I've been reading bus numbers for about four years now, my dear. That's heading over again, over to stand for the 10 later today. And then also pulling out is another Enviro 300, which was what um, the one with the odd 2020 delivery application was before. This one is 272 something. I can tell you that it's a 15 plate. What I can't tell you is what it actually is. 230, I think. Yes, 230. On the four, one of the many circulars around uh, Wigan. So this red branded on the side of it, is that old? What do you mean? The red. You mean that livery application? Yeah, livery, yeah, that's the beach ball livery. Beach ball? <laughs> yes, it's called beach ball. <laughs> so that's the old one, and then the orange is the new one. Yeah, there you go, that's the best description. Also pulling away, God, this is going to be a really long clip because they just keep pulling away. With what looks like an interurban panel, if you look there by the wheel, there's an interurban panel on that bus, which is odd. But it's one of the many Sapphire and Pulsar 1s, one of G's favourite examples. I told you that. I knew that one. Um, you can. But I like the yellow well. interior. I know, no, the older, the other one. interior. That's 2685 there, branded for the 565 five and 575, five, sorry, 362. <laughs> G's waving yeah, back to the school wave, kids. I can't do that because I'm always filming. And then there's another bus moving. God, it's just constant action here. What's but then what's going to happen now? It'll go dead for like 10 minutes because that's Wigan bus station all over. Yeah, Everything moves at once. Oh, God, I've got to get it right. The Wiganers here, so. Um, Where's this one going to? What's that? It's on the two. I don't know if it's going High out on service. Train I've never heard of that one. <laughs> How long has that been going? For years. Has it I? used to be called something out. The number changed many years ago. Who knows where that is? <laughs> three six seven nine eight. I think that so is. What's this? Enviro three hundred. Enviro two hundred. Two hundred. Yeah. I have explained the difference to her many times, but it's Enviro hard for her to remember. Yep. The three hundreds are longer and have a different window design. Oh, longer. Okay. Oh. And speaking of buses we've already seen that's coming on stand, it's now that 10 actually isn't going to stand slash, it's going for a second run round, it's uh, got, um, 19 350. Just come in there. Yes, Pulsar 1, didn't see the number, I should have done because it went past us. The There's another Pulsar coming in, oh my lord, it's just constant action here at Wigan today. And another bus is pulling in, oh my, 
told you. See, Macclesfield is a quiet, a quiet bus station. It's Enviro 400. Yeah, the Trident. Trident. We've just seen this one. Yeah. It's going for a second run round. 19359 oh, back. <laughs> yeah, there's so many buses here. There's no stand space. It's. Whoa, look at these two pulling out. Oh, oh, there's three of them. Look. I know. There's oh, like nice. so many. Look, there's four pulsars. Yeah, I can but there's see. There's a two. There's a two at the back though. There's two of them. Oh, there's yes, a 352 there's going to the stand again, no space, and then one. They're all stuck. Let me just give you a wide angle of this. Wait, that's an actual. Uh... There you go, there's a wide angle of everything. Oh, there's another one. Come on. Oh, I is... know, that's what I've been saying. So that 10's ready for the going out to Lee. Then there's the two, then there's 2696, a Pulsar 1. This is a great lineup. Let me get a photo of that. That'll be the thumbnail for sure. Uh, 2696 is leading it, 352 coming in. Uh, there goes um, 36788, eight, I believe that was. No, 796 coming in on the 5. There's 2987, they're going out on the 352, they're coming on the 362, it's 2690. Great hey. pulsar, that one, by the way, we had that hey, when yeah. we went up to... that um, one's got yellow interior, I like them ones. Yeah, we had that one coming back from um, Rivington, that one, 2690. Oh, it's a good pulsar, that one. Mrs. Not quite as good as 2681, though, the Mrs. best Mrs. one of the lot. Yeah, near the back. Pulling out on the one is uh, one of the SL64s, 27207. SL64. One. Oh, so that's that's an ex-Stockport bus, that one. So you've got one going the other way and two going the... Yep. And then finally pulling in on the two over there is another Enfire 200. And that is the end of the five minute long clip I've just filmed. Also, there's a street deck here on the 635. Anybody want to explain why they're doing that, but they keep putting Sitaros on the uh, 37 and 36 routes? I'd love to know. Okay, I do know that it looks like it's caught it coming in, because as you remember last time, they go down that long path to the side of us where the stands are, but this is 3679 coming in on the number four. Gonna go to the stand down there, because all the local circulars go down the bottom end stands. The only circular that comes closest will be the one about halfway up, which is the, the nine. No, the nine goes to Lee. I don't believe you already said, but that's an Envar 200. It is. Well done. There's no curved window at that. There you go. Yeah, I'm trying to in. teach her now. Because well, there's a 300 at the very end there. <laughs> I'm just trying to teach her the difference. Oh, I was about to stop filming, but there's another Pulsar pulling away. Is this St. So it's worth mentioning that pretty much every Arriva vehicle around here now does not carry the normal Interurban livery. There is quite a few left in the Interurban Sapphire livery. I'll teach you this later. Um, <laughs> Also, the Enviro 300 is pulling away, in fact. And there's an Enviro 400 MMC coming in on the 8. Now, these do regularly do oh, the Lee the routes, the scale. MMCs. Yeah, the 395, which is the short-running version of the 375 and the 385. They're all basically one route. Um, that one is one of the MX09s. There are a couple of the ex-Wales vehicles over this way as well now. For Arriva, since we last came, they've transferred from the Banger Depot, which has received, <laughs> yeah, your favourite place, which has received um, new MCV Avoras, as you oh, all no, know. Lighter. Oh, are we? <laughs> 2981 there, this and then 27208 again on the 10 to lead. That, so the 272s, those, the lower ones, the SL64s, those are ex Stockport vehicles. They were new to the Stockport Depot. The MMC is one of the ones that was new for the 34 and X44 routes, because you can tell by the really nice plush seating. I still need to use one of those. Um, they now do the 8, 9 and 10 routes. No, the 8 and the 10 routes. The 9 is a circular, I was right. No, it's not. It goes to higher folds, which is past lead. Very confusing. Anyway, there it is there. Another uh, Trident coming in there on the 9. I can't get the number from here. You might be able to see it on the video, but I can't see it from where I'm stood. Oh and one more on the 10, and then another one coming in. The second one we're going to be seeing here is one in the 2020 local livery, which they are all going to get painted into, even though they're likely not going to stay in Manchester. So I keep filming the sky. <laughs> um, they're likely not going to stay in Manchester because um, we're going to be getting B-Network vehicles over this way in the coming months. The first delivery will be to the Bolton Depot. So all these Arriva vehicles you're seeing here won't be Arriva. No. Um, and the Diamond vehicles won't be Diamond except for the 132 route come September. They will all be yellow and oh, B-Network yeah, vehicles operated me, by Go North West. You tell me uh, Diamond will go into Yeah, yellow. you're only going to have the 132 in, in Diamond colours now in September. Oh, so that 10 is going to the back end stand. The bottom stand is for the 639. The um, end, you don't get it no, sorry, the one at the very end is there. The second one is going in onto the t stand 4. So the stand that that one there has got in, in the beach ball livery, that is, I think, the stand for the 10. No, it's not. They're both coming in and just dropping off and then they're going to go and park. So you've got the stands over there where there's a bunch of buses. And then if you go, there's a road behind that. There's more stands down that way as well. Um, so they will probably go down that way. Um, but this time of day there is always a lot of buses, uh, some extras run for the schools um, and so on. So uh, plus a lot of breaks happen around this time because it's still just gone, did you say four o'clock before? Three, four o'clock? No, around that time of day. Yeah, so it's still break time for a lot of people. 
So a lot of the buses over there are drivers on their break. I keep rambling so much that we have just another bus pulling out. It is the Pulsar next to us here on the 362. Yes, yellow one. So it would have come in on the 575 and it's going out on the 362. They interwork with each other. So this is going over to Chorley. 2690. We have actually, the pair of us have done the we full don't, route. We did the trolley. Trolley mm. to here, don't we? With a pulse. It was in the dark though, mind. <laughs> yeah. We had a good pulse on that day as well, actually. Yes, that one of my faves, that one. It has got the yellow interior, but it has got the nice leather seats as well, which is nice. Someone on that bus thinks it's nice to see a camera, uh, finds it very funny. Um, his life must be really entertainable. He must just get entertained by the easiest of things must have a field day when he watches TV. And also pulling away is the beach, uh, the 2020 delivery Trident on the 10 over to Lee, um, one of the 09 plates. So these will be the last ones to go likely because usually stagecoach withdraw age before like the type. So they'll go the oldest first. So as you'll probably already know, the 57, 07 and 056 plates we had in Manchester went back in 2020. Um, a lot of them went over to like the East Midlands and to Yorkshire and so on. Um, Quite a lot of them replaced vehicles at Hull, in fact. They had a lot of Trident um, presidents over that way. Oh, hey, yesterday I was at, yeah. um, where was I at now? But I saw... Story time with you. <laughs> no, I saw this buzz, I thought, oh, you'd like that. It was like, um, it had like, <laughs> it was like black and red, but the writing was massive on it. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I thought you'd like it. I don't know what it was. You probably saw the 36 route. It's bad that I know exactly what she's talking about just by the colour she said. That's 19256. <laughs> it's actually an 08 plate, I can't read. Uh, it's also had some panel damage, which is nice. It's only been painted up for a few months, I think that one. Actually, might be quite an old one, that. And once again, after another five minute clip, I'll cut to the next one. Pulling in now on the, well, it'll be on the 362, but it's going to go out on the 575, is another Pulsar one. So this is the only form of interurban you still get here in Wigan, really. You do get a couple of interurban vehicles, but it's pretty much all journey mark now. But you do get this livery, the old Interurban Sapphire, the better of the two Sapphires. I thought I preferred the new one, but this one just has a certain flair about it. Um, these will be going, unfortunately, there'll be no pole stars around this way, in fact, when the Bolton takeover happens, which will be quite a change. No, there will be, sorry, the St. Helens Depot will still run this way, but the routes 575 and 362 will get electric buses, or potentially some Sotaros and stuff as well. Um, pulling out is 30977, which we saw at the beginning of the video, it's now going out. So it was coming in on the 640, it's going out on the 641. Yeah, that makes sense. Because they interwork with each other. No, no, hang on, no, no, one bus does one, one bus does the other. So it will be coming in on the 641, going out on the 641. No, they, co they come in, no, they, it does come in on the 640 and go back out on the 641. Oh, I'm sure they do, okay. No, well, they do it like that. Maybe in the and mornings come, do it. No, no, they do. They'll come back in on 641 okay. and go back out on 641. And then coming in as well is another Enviro 200, and one's pulling out as well. The one pulling in is coming in on the free, and we'll go out on the free. <laughs> and the one pulling out is going on the four, so they're both uh, kit green vehicles today. So it's worth noting when you come to Wigan, it's great if you go for the first time, but when you come regularly, um, the only interest you'll get if you're looking for like variety every time is your Bolton routes, because you can get some odd stuff on there, so like the 575 and 362. Um, your Trafford Centre route usually can have all sorts of diamond vehicles on. And then your St. Helens vehicles can be different, especially in the morning and the evening. There was an ALX 400 on the uh, 375 a few weeks back. And there was a Solo on the 352 as well, which was a joke. But like I said, you still get the odd oddity, including this, a street deck on the 635, which really only like happens on Sundays usually, because on Sunday they keep a lot of their single deckers in the, in the depot, and they use the street decks. Um, it is in fact 40755, one I've seen quite a few times now on various routes. I don't think I've ever seen this one on the same route twice, but I have seen it about six or seven times now. I'm pulling in on the 320 over there. My Here's another Pulsar animals. 1 uh. with the yellow interior that G loves. Yeah. And that one is a number I don't know from here. I think I do have a rough, rough idea because I recognize the reg plate. But the MMC is pulling away now. So once again, as I said, you can spot there. It used to be one of the 34X, 34 ones by those lovely plush coach seats. You also get those coach seats on the Scania Enviro 400s um, up in uh, Preston for Stagecoach Merseyside and South Lancashire um, that usually run the routes that way. But off that one goes now. It's uh, 10450. And pulling in as well is that 
same 2020 liveried Trident from before the 08 plate. No, it's a different one. I apologize because it's not got panel damage. You can spot the difference because of that. There's another one pulling in as well. You just, it's just constant action here. <laughs> I'm just, I get so used to Mac, uh, Mac that has been freshly painted. I'm terribly filming here, holy cow. Sorry about that. Yeah, that has been freshly painted. You can see it's gleaming in the sun. Um, but over there is a bus I can't see from here. No, it is the same one, I think. I really can't tell. Let me try and zoom in, bear with. It's 19256, so it is the same one. And also freshly painted by looks of it is this Enviro 200 pulling away. Um, three, six, seven, nine, eight. It's either been freshly painted or cleaned for once. So you have a habit of not cleaning their vehicles these days. Well, I say stagecoach. Certain um, operations of stagecoach. I do know that most sides of South Lancashire keep their vehicles very clean. Every time I see a, a one, one, one round this way, it's always a clean bus. G will probably prove me wrong when she sees one next, and it's not clean. But there you go. <laughs> no, no, I won't. <laughs> Speaking of not clean, here's a very faded stagecoach logoed uh, beach ball example. One of the uh, MX09s. Again, these ones will be the ones that will probably stick around. Uh, 19521 there. And speaking of Enviro 400s that are slightly different, pulling in is a, an Enviro 400 E40D, so one of the newer ones over there on the 385. Uh, that one is 46, I didn't get the number, 4680, I think. I'll confirm it when it gets closer. Um, that 10 is also pulling around. This is just madness. I was trying to think, what's the Warrington route? The, there's two. There's the 360, and then there's the 22A on Sundays uh, and in the evenings. Speaking up. of Diamond and the 132, look what's pulled in. An Eccles-based Sitara is pulled in <laughs> on the 132. Ex-Preston bus, you can tell, because there's a big Preston green section still on the uh, strip there at the back. Um, those have a pretty nice interior, those ones. Um, it is 33032, that, but instead of getting your number on that Wait, the spreadsheet, that we'll go what's for that this. Again? That's one of the 15 plates over there. The number of that will be in the spreadsheet next. What, that? Yeah, that. The diamond. The Sitara, we use those in the Isle of Man. Oh, yeah. If you haven't seen that video, click the link in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> Might as well plug my own video. There's an Enviro 300 pulling in, one of these 62 plates. Oh, so those 62 plates, all the... Shut up. All the 62 <laughs> plates... Um, <laughs> that are in Wigan. Um, these all replace the vehicles that were based um, at the depot. That's 36800 there, by the way. So all of these ones, they replace the very old T and um, similar age reg vehicles that were based here when first ran the routes. Stagecoach was taken over in 2013. Those were the first vehicles they took on and have stayed at Wigan since. There's a couple that have moved away. I know that at least three of the Enviro 200s are based with Stockport now. And I think three of them are based with Middleton. They were traded for a few examples of other vehicles. The 132 is currently just trying not to crash into an Enviro 400 because the stagecoach driver was not looking where he was going. Always very good. Do you remember um, the first time you was here doing this and you went, what's Hatton's Travels? <laughs> I've never seen them before. I think I might have said something like that, yeah. They, they do run, they still run, they used to run two routes, they ran the 630 and the 613 when we last came here. Yeah, I've seen the, the 613. The 630 has gone to Stagecoach since. Uh, the 613 is still run by Hattons, and I believe they still do the Sunday route, and they run a few school routes around here. Heading off on the 9, they're sounding beautiful, it is at 19521. I think, I'm not going to lie, I think he just did a circle around and went on the same route, but there you go. Anyway, over there is the Sotaro um, 33032. We mentioned before one of the BF60 plates. Mm -hmm. So those were Preston from new. Please yeah. try. Have you read wrote, have you read that route? Have you read yeah. that route? It's great. Oh, it goes no. down the A road. And there is another of the 65 plate plush seated uh, MMCs on the 8. Don't get the number from here again, but that'll be on the spreadsheet. And the 352 is pulling in as well. This is a 7 minute clip. That's crazy. Uh, again, number of that will be revealed later in the video. And just as I was about to finish filming that clip, another bus is pulling away. <laughs> you really, it's just constant action here. The Bolton one. It is a Bolton <laughs> bus. It's a Bolton. It's uh, 2679, a subpar Pulsar. It goes all over the place, this route, though, like, I think they need to streamline it. My dear, it? if you think this goes all over the place, you should ride the 7. This takes, seven. that I'm, takes I'm 50 minutes really to get to Bolton. The 7 takes an hour and 20 minutes. 50 minutes, you mad? It's 50 yes. minutes. Well, double that. It's 50 minutes. It's an hour and something on the uh, 7. That it needs a clean and a paint. Well, they're getting rid of them soon, so they probably don't really care. 
Mind you, do Arriva ever really care? It's just non-stop. I was going to stop filming again, but continuing on once more. Dee -dee -dee. Got two trident. <laughs> they're in both. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're in sync. Them two. They just. I think they've duped actually, because we had them both coming at the same time and they're now pulling out at the same time. I think they've duped to ten for the score run. So the 2020 livery one says Lee. They both say Lee on the board. Oh yeah, they've duped it up. So not duped. They brought another bus in to take over a different one. Anywho, pulling away is 19. It's a 19.3 for sure. I can tell that from here. 19.359. Oh, it's the same one again. We've seen that one three times now. Heading out on the 10, pulling in there is one of the 64 plates X Your Bus Sotaro 0295s. Again, we were used to that type in the other man as well. We had a few of those. The MMC is pulling straight back out. It must be running late. That's also been freshly painted by the looks of it again. Station are going mad with the repaints recently, even though they're going to be painted yellow again by the end of next year. But there you go, that's Stagecoach for you. I love painting things. 10448, that one. So two numbers down from the previous one we saw. And also pulling away on this nine minute clip is 36784. Oh, there's more pulling away. Do you know, I think I could just stand here and leave this camera rolling for the next hour and just have buses constantly moving. That's what we're doing. It feels like it. Yeah, I've only stopped filming for about two minutes of the uh, 20 we've here been we studying. This. 30, not 20. Okay, let's try and summarize. So, the first bus to the closest to us is an Enviro 200 pulling out on the 1. Behind that is a Pulsar 1 on the 352. Behind, between those two, is a freshly painted Trident with new wheels as well, by the looks of it, um, pulling out on the 7 down to Bolton, the route that takes a lot longer than the, three seven, uh, the 575. I keep getting my numbers wrong. And then in between those as well behind, you couldn't see it, there's an Enviro 200 moving about, but that doesn't really matter too much. So, let's go in order. Number 1, 36788. 2696, which is named, I didn't say this before, it's named Lynn Duffy MBE, a true St. Helens hero apparently. Um, founder of the Honey Rose Foundation, there you go, that's why they have named that bus that. And again, freshly painted and sorted out is 19358, a lovely trident. That looks really nice in that livery, just to get a nice shot of that. Yeah, definitely do like that livery. And uh, there we go, the action's finally ended, and that's a ten and a half minute clip. Lovely. If, like I keep coming to the wig and you keep coming back to this channel, why not hit the subscribe button? And when you do, make sure you turn on the notification bell so you know whenever the video goes live. And if you're enjoying the video so far, why not drop a like? I'm preparing my lungs for the next clip. Here we go. So, pulling away first, Enviro 300 on the 3, one of the 62 plates. These would have replaced the long T uh, reg vehicles that were at the depot because it's a longer wheelbase vehicle. 27817. One of the uh, lowest numerically, that one. I believe that might be the lowest numerically, but it might be one below that. Um, and then that's actually it, one bus clip. There we go. It's a miracle. At Wigan as well. I can tell we might even check it. This will be in Can I see if I know what this is? Oh, actually, hang on. You can. There's a triple one pulling in, and it's a vehicle I wasn't expecting on it. Um, oh, so I don't know it. Okay, go on. No, you will know, <laughs> you'll know because it's another Enviro, single decker. But So, firstly, Enviro 200 for State in Manchester pulling away. Um, and then the triple one, which is pulling in now, is a once an hour extension of that route, which usually goes only as far as Leyland, and it does that on Sundays as well. But one bus an hour comes all the way down to Wigan. There used to be a 113 as well, which used to run from Leyland to Wigan um, every every run. So, what kind of so that is a free, that's 36798, and that will be 36 something. They just put the numbers differently on these. These are Stagecoach Merseyside and South Lancashire vehicles, and it is. 36820. Oh. Thank you, 36820. An Enviro 200 on the triple one, which is very inappropriate because that's a long run of it and so it's, it's a short wheel base. Yeah, it's just got a different livery application. It, it looks, but yeah, it looks that different. route's not meant to have those when it goes to Wigan Run. It's meant to be Enviro 300, which is what you, which is what we usually see on there. And three, three, zero, three, two is pulling away. Yeah. One of the lovely X Preston Sataros. So Eccles had more Sataros until recently for the X50 and 150, but the X50 and 150 now get street decks, and the routes don't really need those. Um, and pulling away there is, it was 4650 we saw before, so I'll put that on both. Um, again, freshly painted by the looks of it. They are still refurbishing those at St. Helens. I think they've just finished the Enviro 400s, actually. So that's not just a repaint, they've been refurbished as well with new seating. Um, nothing else, because Arriva daren't actually spend proper amounts of money on their refurbs. I'm not a big fan of Arriva, if you didn't know. I am. 
I think because they have pulsars. <laughs> I, like <it. laughs> I like to read the trains wheels as well. Oh. Yeah, to be fair, compared to Stagecoach these days, they run more services. Hey, look what we got. Pulling away there, 19257. We've also got a St. Helens RFC branded Pulsar 2 pulling in, or is it a Pulsar 1? That? No, that's a Pulsar. Uh, it's no, it's a Pulsar 2, yes, yeah, no 09 plate. <laughs> But then we also have 36789 again pulling away, the oh, numerical It's on the one. 360 route. There you Finally, go. Finally, we're seeing one. We're just waiting for the 613 and we've seen every route in the Wigan. I said like the, but really quietly there. That is the <laughs> Empire Fringe I keep seeing all the time, but I can't remember the number of it, ironically. Uh, 27807, I believe. I knew that as well, because it's got a curved window at that. 278, sorry, sorry, 27237. I keep seeing that one like all the time. Oh, sorry. Like every time I come to Wigan, that one passes me. I'm not saying I've got a stalker, but it does kind of feel that way. And we'll get this uh, St. Helens RFC branded Pulsar 2 as well on the 360 from Warrington. So as I was saying to G before, um, this route runs throughout the day, Monday to Saturday, and then in the evenings, um, and on all of Sundays, the route then gets swapped out for the 22A. The 22A usually runs shorter. I can't remember where to. Ashton in Macafield, I think. Um, it extends to... <laughs> you mean Macafield? I, okay, <laughs> shush you. Ashton and Makerfield. Um, see, I was going to say that and I was worried that was going to be wrong. Um, that, that doesn't go to Ashton No, I can't think where the 22A goes. I can't <laughs> think of the... Yeah. The 22A does go a shorter route and then it extends in the evenings and on Sundays up to Wigan. And it replaces the 360 because they're either then run that... to a Newton and Willow station, that one. That That's where it goes to. Oh, there's a Tyra's vehicle back there. I don't know what the vehicle is, unfortunately, but it'd be on a school run. So Tyra's don't actually run any... Um, we haven't any services in Manchester anymore. They pulled out of any of them that they did have. Kill circular. Um, that's had new headlights fitted, that one. Oh, no, he's not. No, he's not. He's just got his fog lights on. How many circulars do we have here? 36800. You've got five? Four. Four. Oh, and this was 2902 on the 320 before. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to cut this clip and we're going to wait for the 613 to turn up before we do our next clip and then we'll round up the video. So I'll see you when the uh, 613 comes in. I'm going to regret this. I told a lie. I want to get a photo of this Pulsar. So far, I'll film the clip anyway of it going out on the 360 down to Warrington. Um, but there'll probably now be a bolt of action and it will extend the video by another 10 minutes. But uh, anyway, here it goes now. I didn't get a number before, but I was going to put it in the spreadsheet, but it was 2967. So I was discussing this with G because she keeps seeing these and asking. I thought they couldn't advertise things on buses like that. They can. Um, and with this one, Arriva are a partner um, of St. Helens RFC. They fund things like the stadium, you know, the, the games and all that um, from the St. Helens depot. Um, and they work really closely with them. Um, I think they even do charity stuff with them and stuff. Um, and that's why they have a bunch of Pulsars branded up. But that is a slightly altered version of it because they had it on the interurban livery before and it's now on the Journeymark livery. Okay, being as it's somewhat interesting, we'll get 36820 going out. I wanted to get a nice photo of it. And thankfully, also at the same time, that Satara is going away. I wanted to get a photo of that too. Um, probably won't get a photo of this one, um, but yeah, I will say most side of South Lancs do keep their vehicles in better condition than Manchester, so you see that one's a lot nicer and cleaner. I told you, every bus that goes that route is pretty much dead clean, and it was, I didn't get the number of this before, 33010 on there. Now, I don't know if this is still the case, but most of these still have the Your Bus fleet number on the back of them. No, they have finally got rid of it. They used to have, if you look at the top there, you used to see the, the old Your Bus fleet number, the way they changed fleet number, by the way, they just put a three in front of it, so that would have been three zero one ten with uh, your bus. Speaking early. of rears, what do you think of that one? It's all right. Bit 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 humpy. <laughs> okay, we're gonna get a few more clips here because I think there's a couple of different things coming in. There is. We got an, oh, we have the oldest Enviro two hundred on fleet for Bolton. In fact, uh, this is three one four zero one ex your bus um, vehicle SN ten CDG, and it's fitted with the ever so rancid Urban ninety seats. And yeah, we've just been proved wrong there. They do come in on the 641 and go out on the 640. Because that's just coming on the 641 and has now got a 640 board on. You should listen to me more often. Oh, I wasn't saying you weren't right. I just said I thought that was, it was different. <laughs> They've somewhat fixed the board on that. It, last time we saw that, um, well, last time I saw that, I should say, because G wasn't there, in fact. Um, the board was uh, wrong. and It like had a tiny number and everything. It was hilarious. Yeah, you don't like them seats, you do you? think they're rock out? They're so uncomfortable. Why well, have you been on that one? Um, I've, yeah, I've been on one of them. I'm going to create a photo, a uh, video of this one. This is uh, one of the MMCs out on the 7, which is a pain in the rear end. I try and get this <laughs> every time, having one of these on the 7. And whenever I film it, I see one. When I'm actually going to use the route, yeah, it's never one of these. Never what even one it? of them on there. 10443, it's an Enviro 400 MMC, my dear. Looks 
odd though. It looks different. It is. It's a redesign of the old Envira 400. But it's got those really nice seats upstairs, and, bit, well, and downstairs. I didn't realize it was downstairs as well. I really wanted to get. I guess I'll film the return once more of that one. Seven eight six. Class um, one seventies. Mm, they, they do, do my look a bit like yesterday. Them seats, jeez. Jeez, there's only one of you. <laughs> jeez on toast. <laughs> I, I wouldn't say no to that. Okay, well, I guess it's one of those where I've been sucked into a longer clip, so next up... You've been sucked off. <laughs> what, are you jealous? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, 3799 is pulling away there. On the two, this freaking Foxhall Corsa has stopped right in my way. <laughs> Cutting off all my photos. 26... Wants to be in the video. <laughs> oh, that's MX09EKY, which is 293... 2940, the very end mark of the original batch of Pulsar 2's Tour Even North West, the first eight of which were new to Wivenshaw for the Route 130 between Manchester and I Macclesfield. It says, um, Concourse. Yes, it does. <laughs> 2684 is playing away there on the 575. But yes, yeah, so those eight Pulsars were new for the 130 when it was a more frequent route. Next. That is 3788, uh, 3688, 2962 there on the 395. Well, actually, it will be coming in on the 395. There is uh, one of the 67 plates in the 635. Can't remember the number of that, but I will note by the plate, so I'll put that in. And finally, one of the few uh, still interurban sapphire liveried Pulsar 2s with the older Eva logo on the front still as well, which is nice. Um, pulling in now on the 36, uh, sorry, 575 going out on the 362, 2997. Yeah, so pretty much just filming like the non local routes now because there's all the same vehicles on there, but this is one of the Oh, it's a six. Oh, MX61 plate. Nice. Not seen what it is on the 575 yet, I don't think, actually. Uh, this is one of the newer Pulsars, if you couldn't tell by the age. Uh, Pulsar 2s. And again, non Sapphire bus on the Sapphire route. Uh, been becoming more common recently, I think. <laughs> a lot of the uh, Pulse, the Sapphire ones, they tend to, well, they have been for quite some time now, a few years now, but they also do the 534 over in Bolton. Not meant to, but they do. No, so I've not seen that Pride one. I have not photographed. I've still not photographed it. I saw it when it first came out. That's 3102, that one. That is actually an ex Wivenshaw bus. Um, wasn't used on the 263 a lot, but was new for the 247 and 245 routes. Well, used on those anyway. And here is Mr. Rancid Seats pulling away. <laughs> not that bad. They are horrible. You should get a seat. I'd rather not. I avidly avoid these seats. So this one was actually new as an oddity vehicle and is still an oddity vehicle, as far as I remember. Um, I don't think it was new as part of a batch. I believe it was just on its own in the fleet, but it might have been because I think it was 1401 with the Yorbus and then the next one up was 1408. So there may well have been a fleet of seven. I haven't actually checked the history on it. Yeah, seven examples like that. That are rancid. Pulling away here is that Pulsar 2 from before. Now on the 362, of course, it came in on the 575. 2997. We saw this one last time we were here, actually, I believe. It was that or 2996 we saw, or both. And uh, I won't focus too much on that Enviro 200, even though it is one of the ones that's freshly painted again. It is 36796 for those curious. Also pulling away is 3102 straight away back out on the... Uh, that's interesting. It's saying it's on the 362 as well. That can't be right. It must be going on to the stand for a break. Oh, no, no it's, it's moving going. to the uh, 362 stand. That's weird. Oh yeah, I thought, hang on, that went out on 362. But it came in on the 575. Oh, that yeah, one, that one, that, that one must be running late because they're never that close together. Not filming a proper clip, but if you notice, that bus, 3102, hasn't got free Wi-Fi. I thought every even North West vehicle re got refurbished for that in 2012, but that one was skipped off. I wonder if that whole batch is the same. If anyone knows, or if I spot, I'll find out, but if anyone knows, let me know, because I'm sure that's not right. But yeah, it's not got free Wi-Fi. There's no signage for it, which means it hasn't got it. How interesting. The end. Okay, so we get the number of this one. I do know it, like, at the back of my mind, but I can't think what it is. But this one is quite a regular to the 635 and 644 the one routes. 31411, that's it. So a lot of these extra bus examples pretty much only operate out of the uh, Wigan Depot, well, the Wigan area, sorry, for these routes. The 635, 640, 641. And then they also do routes like the uh, 501 and stuff. Um, but uh, yeah, they, they are very regular vehicles. You pretty much get the same four or five buses. It was quite odd to see that one before that wasn't one of the XUR bus ones. 
But 30977 does work around this way too a lot, so also not that odd. Um, I would film that Enviro down there, but we've seen it enough today, so moving on. And the elusive 613 has finally arrived. The 6, it'll be the 420 departure, but it's coming in now. This route, as G just discovered, is an absolute nightmare of a route. Looks Can't imagine like how interesting it is to, yeah, it looks like a, t a tangled up knot, <laughs> like a tangled up cable. We'll also film the last few buses as well before we go. Well, we know. <laughs> well, we might as well. We'll start the clip. So it's SN66. This is what we're waiting for, what is it? SN66 is WLA, another Enviro 200 Classic. I'll explain more about that in a minute, Jim. Um, classic. Might be a bit more of an advanced lesson further down the line. <laughs> there, that one is. I think I've seen that one on there before. I've seen it on there before. I don't know if I've photographed it before, but there you go. And then we'll get the last couple of things. Luxury coach holidays. Yeah, that's what they're actually um, for. I think we'll pass. There's a funny, I'll put a photo on screen actually of it. I saw a Hatton's vehicle recently and it's their name is Hatton's Premier Class, but the vehicle I saw was not Premier at all. That is 458 something. I'll get the number again later to just film the reg plate. Okay, and with that, we're going to round the video up there, the 613, rounding it off very nicely. We've seen every route that comes to Wigan now, except the 22A, as I said, that's only evenings and Sundays, so we won't get a film of that today. And all the school routes as well, they're sort of odd to catch. And I don't really like filming around school kids, because they're a pain in the ass. Anyway, I've been really... <laughs> I've really enjoyed filming here today. It's been nice to have G along to have a bit of a chat with and try and teach him more about buses. We're going to do, do some more I of these. actually have just learnt the difference between about 200 and 300 as well, actually. I will teach you more. It's just whether you retain the information because you already forgot no, about the Sitara. No, genuinely, like, like, you tried to teach me that before, but I know it, I actually know it now. Yeah, but you you, you, you didn't retain the information about the Sitara. I know it. Mouth, Listen, so. I've, I've just learned. You've learned something today, so I've hopefully you'll retain it. I'm gonna. But I have really enjoyed filming, and I have been Lucy Michaela. Uh, would you like to go to Pizza Hut? Yes, Pretty very good. much so. Yeah, I've been Trades. Go check out her channel below. She's not filmed today, but just go and check her out. If you have enjoyed what you've seen today, again, Standing as I said, on my right now. you are a bit. You're sort of like <laughs> stood on the fence. Because I won't be, I won't be shot. There we go. Oh, <laughs> but yeah, we have really enjoyed filming today. So thank you all very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye Bye for now. Guys.